All right. We want to talk to you today about using a new feature that we previously mentioned to you in Google Meets, and that feature being Jamboard, which is the digital whiteboard. So in order to demonstrate this for you today, we are going to be popping back and forth between two different accounts. When you see my smiling face here on the screen, we're in our teacher account. And then when you see the LT symbol, we are in our student account. So just so you can know, because the views look very similar from one to the other. All right, so back here on our teacher account, we're going to start up our Google Meet and join it. And then we're going to do the same thing in our student account. Now that the teacher is in, the student should be able to enter. So now we have both our teacher and our student account open. The reason why we did that is we wanted to show you um, how to start up your Jamboard. So either the teacher or the student. So to start the Jamboard, you click on the three dots and you go to Jamboard. What it will then prompt you to do is either start one from scratch. If you do this, it's going to put your Jamboard in your main Google Drive folder. Or you can choose a Jamboard that you've already pre-populated with content and other slides directly from your Google Drive. So whichever way you want to do that, just click on that icon and then it should, then it should prompt you with whoever's in the Google Meet that this file needs to be shared with them. So we have our, our student account in here. This would be that the student would only be able to view it. If we want the students to also collaborate and add content to it, they would click on edit. Okay. This screen is, is a little bit particular because now we do this. And what it does is it opens the Jamboard here. And you hear that little ding. That's a chat message being placed in the chat so that the student can find a link to the Jamboard over here in their chat pane. That's how the students would open up that Jamboard to participate in it. Now, this brings up some really good instructional points. You are not going to want to start a Jamboard until all of your students are in it. Because if you do not wait until all your students are present and a student joins your class or your meet late, they will not have access to this chat or the link in your one way to get around that is to change the share settings within the jam. So if a student comes in late, I can change it from restricted to anyone with Shenanda Hall with the link is an editor. I can copy the link and then send it again in the chat. John just modeled for you how a teacher can start a Jamboard within a meet. But the really cool thing is students can also start their own jams within a meet. So if you wanted small groups of students to jam or collaborate together, they would do the same thing. Open a jam and either start a new one or pick one from the drive. But if they were collaborating, they could start a new one from the drive and they could type in the names. No, the students would also have to wait until all the students were in their breakout room before starting that jam board so that the editing rights is assigned to all of those students that need it. It's very important that you either wait until everybody's in the Jamboard or go in ahead of time and change the Jamboard settings to anyone with the link can edit. So it's either wait till everybody's in the room and start it or start your Jam and then go into the sharing settings just like you would for any Google Drive file and change those sharing settings. We're going to have to edit the heck out of this video. You would change this to anyone at Shen can edit. It, and then share that link in the chat with all the students who are part of the Google Meet. If you're not familiar with Jamboard, there are some drawbacks to it that we want to make you aware of. So we've already made you aware of the major drawback from using uh, Jamboard within a Google Meet, and that is how it decides to share it with whom, and that you have to have everybody in the Meet first, or you have to change that link. So that's the one big one we wanted to get to, to you with. But what we're going to talk about now are some specific to Jamboard um, drawbacks. And I hope the drawbacks don't deter you from using the tool because it really is a great collaboration tool. 